I've got no sense of touch I'm always pouring out my heart No little by little here I'm always pushing things too far Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar No boundaries, I get too close No little by little here Cause I give my all oh, No little by little I pour out my heart oh, No little by little here I always run The jump and rest the fall. I see no limits in the sky. No little by little here. No, no. Got stuck on working on myself. Thought I was wrong and needed help. But I'm just different, something else. No little by little Cause I get my oh, oh, no little by little, I pour out my heart, oh, no little by little, here. I'm gonna go everywhere, and be myself, no I swear, I'm gonna give my own. Fly. 
high, let me fly into the sky. Let me be all that I, all that I can, I can be. Let me fly, let me fly, let me fly into the sky. Let me be all I can be. Let me be all I can be. Sat down, I just don't know what to do. I want to spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about, and I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. There's something about the way she laughs and the way she always dances when she thinks nobody sees. She's gonna miss her so I tell her, baby, please don't go. I think you should stay with me. And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about. Oh, and I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. She came from kind of turned me upside down. I just don't know what Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna go through a couple of photos from the Voltrox 27 F1.2 Pro. And we can inspect some of the sharpness uh, for the uh, this lens. Uh, for the first impression, it's very good, uh, very sharp, and uh, on the edges of the sunlight, it doesn't have any of the uh, purple fringing, and it's very sharp. It's just like the as sharp as the uh, Voltrox uh, 75 mm f 1.2 Pro. So it, the Pro series uh, uh, overall, the impression is very sharp. So uh, you can see that uh, this is about uh, uh, three fourths of the body shot, not a half body. But uh, you can see that the 1.2 it blurs out the background, even though uh, you have the uh, 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 three fourths of the body shot, and the focus on the eyes is very sharp uh, for for the Voltrox uh, f 1.2 lens. So let's open another one. So let's open the second one. It's in the same location, but it's a backlight uh, from the sunlight. 
you can see that the backlight uh, uh, quality is very good also. So the sunlight is uh, from the back of this side of the hair. And you see the reflection on the eyes. Uh, you, can, you can see the reflection of the eyes uh, super sharp. Uh, and the sharpness is on the eyeball is uh, very uh, sharp on that. And then if you zoom out a little bit, you can see the overall is very sharp. And these are all uh, straight out of the camera JPEG uh, uh, without any modification. So all original photo. So let me open the third one. And then this one. Yep. So the uh, as you can see in the video, uh, the tracker is pretty good. Uh, it feels like very uh, normal uh, to the Fuji lens. Uh, even on the backlight, it's still tracking on the eyes. So, so I noticed that it's very good on the Pro uh, series. Like the Pro series uh, autofocus is very good. And let me. So this is the full body shot. You can see uh, how the full body blur against the uh, the the model, and then um, it's uh, it's not too blur but uh, because it's good enough to separate the subject to the background uh, so it's good for environmental portrait uh, in that case uh, but uh, the 1.2 it feels uh, more when you do the half body or one uh, three fourth of the body shot but it's still very good to separate the background already so um, uh, just slightly blur so that you can still get the taste of the background so I will do a comparison of the 23mm f1.4 with this lens just to see what are the comparison. And this shot is also a half body, around a half body shot. And you can see that the eyes is very sharp. It's uh, very sharp on the eyes. And the texture of the lens is very good. So half body shot if you want nice portrait has half body shot if you uh, the 1.2 definitely will blow the background and the bokeh is very smooth uh, in the background um, the highlighted area is so uh, very smooth also uh, you can see uh, the eyes are in focus even it reflected the reflection of me taking the photo in there you can still see uh, I was taking a photo in the eyeball uh, reflection. Uh, so it is uh, very good, the first impression of the sharpness uh, and the uh, uh, rendering of the texture rendering and the uh, uh, focusing area to the focusing area. The transition is smooth. It, it, will, it won't have the sudden transition. Um, yep, and then let's do a couple more. I have two more on this location. Uh, so this is another half body. Uh, this is toward the end of the shoot. Uh, it was overheating, as you can see the, in the icon in the uh, in the uh, EVF uh, recording uh, previously. There was a red icon. It was super hot that day, uh, but it's very good uh, for the focusing. The first impression, sharpness, focusing. Uh, it feels like it. Is expected as the pro series of the Voltrox. Uh, by the way, I have the 8% um, coupon code uh, also, just in case you want to apply the coupon code to save some money. And in the Voltrox store, I have the 8% coupon code also as well. So this is the full body. Uh, you can see still a little bit of the context of the background, so it won't totally blown out just like the uh, full frame f1.2. But if you uh, it's good enough to separate this uh, subject to the background. So uh, full body is still pretty good in the environment portrait. So full body is like that. It's pretty smooth transition from the focus to defocus area. Um, and the sharpness on the eyes, very sharp. You can see the reflection on the uh, sunlight behind me. That's the sunlight spot behind me reflected on the eyes. So is in focus on the eyes for the eye uh, focusing uh, tracking. So overall, this lens is very good uh, for my first impression. And uh, I will shoot a couple more and then maybe do some blind tests with the comparison. 
And thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more video coming up. Thank you. Bye.